What is up guys? Welcome back or to the channel. If it's your first time stopping in, don't forget to go down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Like you guys saw, we got the plastic up. And also off camera, I got the wheels cleaned and all prepped for paint. And I actually went ahead and jumped ahead of myself um, last night and uh, got a couple of coats, uh, the first two coats on the wheels, which you guys will see here in a minute. I turned the camera on, I just forgot to do my intro. Um, but like uh, you guys can probably see, um, I'll show you the paint color here in a second, but I just wanted to uh, say that I've been trying to get as much on the wheels done as possible. Like I, uh, some of you guys know, if you watch the channel or you guys follow me on Instagram, Never Satisfied 24V, just had a newborn. She's actually two weeks old today. Um, right now it's Wednesday. Uh, it's actually 1.20 in the morning. Um, Kenzie's asleep and baby's asleep and I got the monitor right here, uh, keeping an eye on them. Um, when she wakes up, I'm gonna take care of her. That way, Kenzie can actually get some sleep tonight. Because the longest stretch of sleep that she's gotten is about two hours. Um, so tonight, I'm gonna help out and uh, also get these wheels done as much as possible. Um, at least on this video, we're gonna get them completely painted. Uh, we're gonna hop in, do the third coat real quick, um, and then the fourth, fifth, probably at least I'm gonna do at least five or six coats and see where we're at from there. So for the paint color, no one guessed it right. Um, real quick. You guys can probably see, I did some test sprays on the, uh, the plastic there. Um, we went ahead and went with a white color. As you can see right here, it says snow white. So I went with white because one, it'll stand out um, like crazy. You're definitely uh, gonna notice that driving down the road, uh, truck with giant white wheels. Um, and two, because it's really the only other color that goes with the uh, truck right now. Um, there's not really a lot of colors you can mix with the blue. Um, this doesn't look too good, other than black and white, in my opinion. Um, but that color of the truck's gonna definitely be changing here soon, because I'm actually um, in the works with the company right now. That's, uh, we're gonna be wrapping the truck, probably. So, uh, color change on the truck coming soon. Like I said, these wheels are just temporary. Um, the new ones are sitting in a box over here. And actually, I might have a buyer for the damn couch that's been sitting over here. Um, they're coming to look at it Friday or Saturday. So hopefully in the next video, I'll have my damn garage back. Not only will the wheels be out of here, which will be nice, but the couch will be gone. But enough talking. Let's uh, hop into getting these wheels painted. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to look freaking amazing. Um, and they're going to be different. They're going to stand out on the truck. But uh, enough talking. Let's get into uh, painting these wheels. All right, so like you guys can see, I just got the first coat on the wheels. I just went pretty thin with it, used the gun, came out real nice, did a couple of test sprays over on the plastic to make sure everything was good before I sprayed the wheels down. Um, but I'm letting them dry for about 20 minutes. It's uh, 9.20 right now, so I'll come back out in about 20 minutes and uh, do a second coat on them. And I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna say at least minimum of five coats. I'm at six. I, I think I did like five or six coats on my front bumper and it held up for over a year. So um, I'm gonna do at least five coats on these and go from there, see how they look. I might have to do more, but we'll see. One thing I also wanted to mention too was it is 45 degrees right now. Um, I do have that shop heater, which you guys saw uh, me unbox at the beginning of the video. I picked up just in case I need to throw it on to uh, warm it up in here. I uh, tested it out the other day and uh, it actually works pretty amazing. It's, granted, it's meant for a much bigger of an area than this, but it uh, uh, does the job for what it is. Um, but it's recommended to spray in 70 to 80 degrees, which uh, our high today was 50 degrees. So uh, that's kind of the struggle. But like I said, it's 45 degrees and 
it's sticking, it's it's laying down, it's not bubbling up, um, so we have no issues with that, luckily. But I just want to let you guys know that. Um, definitely a lot colder than what they recommend, but the paint is uh, laying down and it is not bubbling and it's looking good. So I'm gonna give it time to dry and we'll come back and get another coat on it. So you guys saw me put the first two coats on, but because all the overspray, I didn't want to ruin the camera. So on the third coat, I, t I turned the camera off, took it out of here, and the gun started acting up, which uh, I'm using this Wagner uh, Flex IO 590, I'm using a smaller attachment, all has a bigger one. But when I was using the bigger one, it sprayed way too much, no matter how much I turned it down. And then the smaller one just stopped spraying, and it kept cleaning the nozzle on the tip, and it wasn't working. And I had that gun already because I used it on a couple of projects a while ago um, and it worked perfectly fine. And I did have the heater on tonight at 70 degrees, which I recommend spraying between 70 and 80, which is weird that the gun started acting up tonight versus last night when it was 45 degrees, it was laying out perfectly fine. Um, I did have one can of white Plasti Dip, so I used that up. I'm going to pick up some more tomorrow after work. It is currently 3.53, so I'm going to wrap this up. and. Uh, Hopefully spray a little more on tomorrow and then wrap this video up because I still have to edit everything. It's Wednesday night. Well, technically Thursday morning. But here's what they look like so far. Super white. Looking good. There are some little like boogers like this, but they, luckily they just come right off. So they're looking pretty good. They got about two and a half coats on them because the gun was acting up. Like I said, it wasn't spraying correctly. It was spraying really uh, lightly, no matter how much I adjusted the gun. But like I said, I gotta pick up some cans tomorrow after I get off work. Um, I'm gonna try to get some sleep here. It's four o'clock, so I'm gonna try to get a couple hours of sleep before I gotta wake up for work tomorrow. Um, and then I'll get as many coats as I can on tomorrow before I gotta edit the video because it's Thursday morning, so I gotta get it all edited and stuff um, for you guys on Friday, but I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. So it's the next day. Unfortunately, I forgot to stop at Home Depot when I was in Portland today, so our local one only had two cans in stock of the Plasti Dip. Um, so we'll see how far those two cans go. Hopefully I can get a full coat on each full wheel with one can, so if we can get two more coats on tonight, we'll see. If not, I'll pick some more up tomorrow because my goal really is just to get them painted, um, but unfortunately, the gun wasn't working in our favor, and also our local Home Depot only had two cans. Plus, I'm really strict on, uh, really short on time uh, with the newborn and everything. It's just, with between feedings and everything, it's just really heck, really crazy. Um, and so, I'm just trying to get these wheels painted as much as possible, and also there's some things that are stopping us, like the gun and lack of paint. But enough talking, I'm on a time crunch, I'm gonna get spraying these wheels. I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, just throw a time lapse of me spraying it with these two cans. We'll see how far we can get. So the second can just ran out. I was able to get um, two full coats on the face of each wheel and also on the center caps. You can see on the wheel here, they're uh, drying right now, but looking pretty good. The hardest part is getting in between all the spokes, all the freaking angles. You have to go back and forth multiple different directions to get it. It's a lot harder to get it from the back because the way um, the wheel sits on the back side, you can't really get to it as well. It's, it's a lot harder because it's flat face on the back versus the front. It's kind of uh, at an angle, so it's easier to straight from the front, but it's still a pain in the butt. And then over here, you got the center caps. I took the uh, centers out. I'm going to paint those a different color. Um, I think I'm going to do black. Uh, they're like chrome right now, like chrome plastic wrap stuff. Um, and I, I don't like chrome, so I think I'm just going to spray them black with Plasti Dip and uh, see how those look. But uh, I'm going to pick up some cans tomorrow uh, on the way home from work. And then in next video, you guys will see, I'll do probably just a quick time lapse of me spraying them again real quick. Um, maybe I won't throw that in there, but I'll peel all the tape off and uh, get this damn plastic down. And then we'll get them thrown on the truck, take it out, see how they look. 
And uh, I think we're gonna also have in the next video some fifth check content. So uh, make sure you guys uh, turn your post notifications on so you don't miss that video. If you guys are new here, go down below, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Sorry that we didn't get much done today, but like I said, got a newborn, she's only two weeks old, so life's just been really, really busy and uh, trying to get out here, do as much as I can, but also trying to be present in uh, baby's life and help out mom as well, so. But I'm excited to get these wheels done and on the truck. I mean, just look at them, those things are gonna stand out um, no matter where I go. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like the white, if you don't like it, if you guys thought it was a new different color, if you guys thought I was gonna do white. Um, but like I said, next video, we'll see him on the truck. There's also gonna be some fit-in content, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and we'll see you in the next video.